coronavirus fears wreaking havoc on the markets. What's happened this time is we have multiple points of uncertainty, and that is really problematic for investors. Stocks went into a steep slide today on Wall Street as coronavirus fears and a crash in oil prices spread alarm through the market, triggering the first automatic trading halt in over two decades. KTBS 3's Cassandra Merritt talked to a financial advisor about this. So, Cassandra, what's he telling his clients about this? Well, Allison, David Evans with Evans Financial Group says none, none of his clients are panicking about the fluctuation of the stock market. In fact, he's encouraging people to buy more stocks if you're able to. Gas prices are getting low, too, after Saudi Arabia started a price war with Russia. Now, this is good news for consumers, but bad news for suppliers as they are losing money, which may eventually lead to layoffs. Centenary economics professor David Hoas says this, along with the presidential election and the coronavirus, is affecting the stock market right now. And Evans says fear isn't only coming isn't only coming in contact with the virus, but it's also losing investments because of the disease. Fear is what is going on in the marketplace today, and what <clears throat> causes the market to go down. People are selling out, get rid of their positions because everyone has a fear that they don't want their 401k to become a 201k or just to be cut in half. Now, oil prices are hitting the lowest in four years at $27 a barrel, and gas could be under $2 within the next few weeks. Evan says the market is expected to correct itself, but it's just an uncertainty of when that will be. Allison? Okay. Cassandra, thank you so much for that report. Experts also saying this has been the worst week in the stock market since the start of the 2008 recession.